What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Vault Comic Some More. I'm Alex, and today I'm gonna go over the uh, free comic books that I picked up for free comic book day the other day. Um, I know I said I was gonna make a video last night. I kind of it took a lot longer than what I thought um, it would for the whole thing. The uh, comic book store itself. Um, over at Alter Ego was actually backed up like it, it took me an hour just to get in there and then from there I probably spent two or three more hours in the store I mean it's normal right nothing wrong with that but I got the ones I was looking for um very very cool uh leading into a whole new era for um for the avengers and for spider-man um by the time we got there there were a lot of different uh uh free comic book day comics uh anywhere ranging from uh spongebob to marvel to um even doctor who so i mean there's there was like a lot of uh a lot of really cool comics and um they had they had someone there who was and I, I really wish I would have thought to uh just kind of uh start vlogging but um they had people there who they they go out to like different uh hospitals different um uh, events and stuff like that uh it's a really good cause um they dress up as different superheroes. There was uh, Star Lord, Deadpool, um, Captain America, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, um, they even had, uh, um, Aquaman and, who else was it? It was another DC character. But they didn't have just Marvel there, though. It was also DC um, heroes and stuff and villains. But um, but anyway, it, it was just a really cool uh, cause and uh, definitely give a donation to that. And I just kind of wanted to give them a shout out. Um, you know, it, it really makes kids feel a lot better when, you know, their favorite hero comes to visit them or something like that. And, Although this wasn't really like a hospital, it was just more for a, uh, um, for the free comic book day event. Um, it was just, it was still really cool. Um, from what I could tell, I don't know what the, uh, end amount was, but from what I could tell, um, they made a really, really good, uh, or they got, um, really good donations and stuff like that. So, um, very happy about that. And uh, hope that they can, can uh, continue to do what they do for a very long time. But, getting uh, to the comic side of um, Free Comic Book Day. Uh, so, Earth My Is Heroes, The Avengers. Uh, this is, as you can tell, Thor has his uh, gold arm and gold Nomir. Um which the actual first comic book um, for this just came out and I also just got caught up with the uh, with the whole um, world or not world slide with the whole uh, no surrender so I was thinking of the no surrender uh, comic book series I just got caught up on that um, so, after I'm finished with that, then I'll be leading into this, and I'll definitely give my review on the, um, all-new Avengers team. Uh, the all-new Avengers team is going to consist of much of the originals, um, a couple of newcomers, though, uh, which include Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider, and, uh, Doctor Strange, so they'll be involved in the Avengers also, but, uh, which you can kind of see... Down there at the bottom. Um, but also featured in here is for uh, 
Captain America. It's more of a preview for the new Captain America um, series by, and I really hope I'm pronouncing his name right, Tanisi. Um, he's actually the same guy who did uh, the Black Panther run. And that actually got uh, really good reviews. Um, I read a bit of it myself, and he he does excellent work. Um, so I'm definitely very excited to see what he's going to do uh, with Captain America. And here's a little bit of the preview uh, for the Captain America. But I'll definitely be doing a uh, full-on review for the um, new Avengers uh, storyline coming out. And also for the amazing Spider-Man. Um, they're going to be starting up a new chapter with his life. Um, obviously, Peter Parker, um, his whole Parker Industries has collapsed and for a while now he's been kind of going back reverting back to your friendly neighborhood spider-man instead of spider-man uh worldwide um so they're just kind of getting back getting back to a lot of basics um so the new era begins in amazing spider-man number one so I'm definitely excited to see uh, what Peter Parker's going to be um, getting himself into. Just to show you some really cool uh, action shots here of him fighting the Rhino and Electro. And also this includes... Uh, Plus learn about everything Infinity inside. Uh, so this is actually a timeline, seems like, um, to the same previously in Guardians of the Galaxy, and it's listing um, a bunch of characters that this will be referring to, and it, it just it gives a one big timeline. Like there's no actual story to it. It's just one big timeline. This is a couple pages after the page I just showed you. So, um, but it, it's it's all it's all leading up to the big Infinity event that they got going on right now, which I also kind of picked up uh, a couple of those too. So I'll definitely be getting into my reviews um, here, hopefully this coming week um, between Avengers, the end of No Surrender. Um, Hoping to get into a little bit of the Spider-Man uh, with the Red Goblin, and I'm also hoping to get into um, the Infinity Quest. And Damnation should be wrapping up here in a little bit. Uh, if it hasn't done so already, I found the Doctor Strange Damnation that kind of co coordinates uh, with uh, Damnation number four, but Damnation number four was not available there. Which I'm going to be going to uh, come walk on bookstores today. And as you guys can see, I definitely need to uh, get more boxes. All these I have, pretty much all my X Men ones, and uh, excluding the ones for uh, Legacy. All the ones for Legacy are, in fact, in here. But all the ones before that are actually in here. Then this is where this is where I keep all my uh, major storylines that have happened um, throughout the Marvel Universe, um, featuring Secret after Secret Wars, and the reason why it's kind of a well, backstory here. The reason why I chose this box for that specific reason is because Civil War, the original Civil War, was actually the first um, book that I, I, I had read uh, that really started getting me into 
wanting to learn a lot more about comics. Um, Avengers, the movie Avengers, uh, first Avengers movie, really got me into wanting to know more about all these different characters and everything. Um, but Civil War was actually the first um, comic book book that I'd ever read. Um, I've read, when I was a kid, I used to read, like, um, I had, like, a couple issues of Spider-Man and Fantastic Four, and it was, like, a double shot, but it wasn't anything, like, it was just, like, two issues, so it wasn't, like, a whole big storyline or anything like that, um, but this was actually the first storyline I read. So, just kind of a little history and what got me started um, and comics, then everything in this, the head doesn't fall over, everything in this big, uh, box here is everything that, all different stories that happened, uh, like, after Secret Wars, after the new Secret Wars, which it isn't actually, uh, every single story, it's just more, uh, like, more of the, kind of the bigger stories that affected, because, I'll tell you what, if you want to go to a comic book store, and you want to keep up with everything, every single little storyline, it's hard. It, it really is. There's, especially with what Marvel's been doing lately, uh, they, like, there's... I can't even count how many Spider-Man, I mean, there's probably only like five or, five to ten, like, Spider-Man's out right now, but still, there, there's a lot of them, then there's, and two of them are pretty much the same, like, uh, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man and the Spectacular Spider-Man, so, it's, it's still the same Peter Parker and all that, um, but there's just, there's so many, uh, books that wrap up into one universe and they have so many storylines that just kind of split up like there's X-Men Blue, X-Men Gold, X-Men Red, X-Men um, uh, or uh, Astonishing X-Men uh, there's X-Force or not X-Force um, just, just so well I mean there is X-Force but there's there's just so many uh, Weapon X there's just so many um, X-Men storylines happening, even now, like, um, when X-Men versus Inhumans came out, after that, they came out with X-Men Prime and Inhumans Prime, and between X-Men Prime and Inhumans Prime, well, after X-Men Prime and after Inhumans Prime, they set up a bunch of books for the uh, mutants and a bunch of books for uh, the X-Men, or the Inhumans. And it just, it, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot to soak in, and there's a lot to, to collect. There's a lot to, uh, there's a lot to buy and everything. It's, it's fun. It's exciting. If you guys have a comic book store near you, I definitely suggest to, you know, support your local comic book store. Support any comic book store that you can, uh, that you can get to. And, you know, definitely pick up a couple issues and stuff, um, of your, of your, uh, favorite hero. And, um, you know, it, it's a good, it's a good starting point. And trust me, when, when you start at one singularity or one single point, it just spans. Like, there's, there's storylines, sometimes they cross over with another storyline, like the Avengers cross over with the, um, champions, so... You know, you're kind of forced to get the Champions book, and it's a really good book. Champions are, um, but you, if you haven't collected Champions before, but you've always collected Avengers or vice versa, you know, you're kind of like, okay, well, now I gotta get this so I can complete the storyline, and then that's how to get you really interested in the second storyline that came into your original favorite. And you're like, oh, I gotta get more of these. So either A, you go back and get some, like, uh, graphic novels to just kind of get the uh, complete collections of them. Or you get, you go back and try to hunt down all the single issues and stuff. Um, 
and then you just take it from there with single issues. You know, you're all caught up now. Now you take it from there and you uh, get all the single issues and keep caught up. And now you're, you know, now already you have two comics. And then each of your uh, favorite heroes, whether it be Avengers or Champions, and I'm just using these two as an example. I mean, you can say this about anything, the X-Men, the Inhumans, the Defenders, um, anything. But basically my point is, is that every uh, team that you're reading has, like, they have their own comics. The X-Men, I mean, there's not, and the Inhumans, there's not a comic for every little mutant or every little Inhuman um, but, like, for the Avengers and the Champions, the Defenders, um, they all have their own separate lives that uh, Marvel dives into and kind of gives you a little bit expanded version of what's going on in their world. And then you go back to what's going on in their world with their team. And, you know, you get, you get all those comics and... Like, for the Avengers, you know, you get Iron Man, you get Thor, you get um, Hulk, he's coming out with a new comic, you get Captain America. There's four new series right there. So, you know, it once you start on one, it just starts building, your, your collection just starts building up, because you just want to know more and more about these characters, and a lot of things just kind of like tie in to the bigger storylines, and it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Um... So yeah, I guess that's just kind of my message for you guys, for anyone who's been, who, who wants to um, start collecting, you know, or anyone who's wondered if it's, um, what it's like to be collecting, and that's, for me personally, that's pretty much what it's like, um, but you know, if, if you guys already are collecting, if there are any collectors out there, um, uh, who... Uh, enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, same stuff that I do, and enjoy uh, having or building a mass collection and reading all these storylines. Let me know in the comments below what you guys, um, how you guys feel about it, how, how you guys feel about like what's your uh, method of collecting, what what was your first comic that really got you guys started into wanting to know about comics or like what really got you started um getting interested whether it be a movie whether it be an actual comic book let me let me know in the comments below what got you guys started um and you know how how we can maybe kind of help other people um start to and how comics can um can kind of be used to inspire and to help and everything. Um, so, but I guess this video kind of took a left turn from what I was originally going to be talking about um, with the free comic book day uh, specials, but, um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's really all I got for you today. Uh, like I said, hopefully sometime this week I'm going to be doing a full review on the free comic books and also on uh, the other comics I uh, was talking about earlier. And um, again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when I put out a new video. And also, I could use a few more likes and a few shares and stuff like that to kind of help these videos get out there. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. And have a great day. See you next time. Bye.